Okay, love. Here we are at the communication chakra. And the very first thing we're going to discuss is the law of waves. You know, in relationship, there are these times when you're so high, everything's flowing, and it's so passionate, and it's so romantic. And then, suddenly, it's as if it's all gone. Nothing. Not much connection, not much sexuality. Everything's like in a trough. And it really is the law of waves, where the wave comes and takes you very high, and it brings all this energy onto the shore, and then it pulls back out. And in the pullback, then you find yourself out to sea without much going on. And this is where people stop trusting what they're doing, because they expect to always be on the top of the wave. You know, relationships have this cycle that is very, very um, consistent, really. We start in the romance phase, and then we go from there into the power struggle <laughs> very quickly. And it's really tragic, because a lot of people just break up in the power struggle. And the power struggle, we'll get into that in the power chakra, but you, <laughs> then there's also the, you know, the commitment level where we start to accept each other's differences. We'll get there later, you know, and the, um, coming back into romance from actually knowing each other rather than having romance where it's all projection based in the beginning. You don't even know each other. You just project onto each other that you're the best things in the world and you're very happy until you find out who each other really is. <laughs> and then, you know, later on you find out who each other are and you can come back to the, the, the romance stage. We'll get there later. And then you get to the bliss stage where, wow, you've got this commitment based on who you are. And in the bliss level, you actually become a fountain of blessings to others. But to get all of that, all those levels, the very first thing that needs to be understood is the law of waves. So the law of waves happens like this. Energy comes in waves. Light comes in waves. Sound comes in waves. And the, the, the particles, the, the molecular nature of our beings blinks in and out of existence, just like waves do. They come and they go. So that's why all of your cells in your body can become, will become completely new within a certain um, rhythm of months and over a year. Every cell in your body for every organ becomes completely new because of this blinking in and out of existence. So when you start to understand the law of waves, when the down trough happens and things are not really going, seems like nothing's going on, you can get into a place of deep relaxation instead of getting frantic. A lot of what people do when the wave goes out is they start dog paddling furiously to get to another wave or, or they, they start freaking out like, whatever happened? I was on the wave. It's all gone. You know, uh, <laughs> but what I want you to start really doing when the wave goes out and it's not there anymore and the horizon looks flat and you're thinking, ah, oh, it's all over. They said, just like everybody said, love is passionate and then it all goes away and it plateaus and we're all on a plateau. Well, of course it does. It plateaus until the wave comes back. In the plateau, what you need to start doing instead of freaking out and wondering and doubting everything is to simply look at what the waves brought upon the shore when it came last. Now, all of these treasures, all of these shells are there. All of these little creatures have been brought up from the, from the underworld of that giant wave, from, from the energy of it. And part of your time is to just go into gratitude, receptivity, and contemplation of what you received last. Now, the other thing you, I want you to do when the wave goes out is I want you to go back in the water and float there and start infusing your, your heart and your mind with the invocation of what you want next, of, of the more that you're ready for, from the wave of your love, from, from the energy of your relationship, okay? Now, think about it. If the wave, well, what a lot of people do, they, they're floundering out there, paddling like crazy, 
freaking out that the wave wasn't isn't there anymore, looking at other people, you know, and the wave starts to build. A wave starts to build of all the things they're wanting and longing for, and they don't see it because they're so busy freaking out and doggy paddling. Then what happens is the wave either crashes over and passes them by, and they miss all the next blessings, or the wave sucks them up and dumps them onto the ground. So all this, so all this energy was actually building, you know, it was your, your spouse's birthday, the or anniversary, you were supposed to get presents, you weren't paying attention to all that good stuff, you were paying attention to what you didn't have, the wave comes of the next energy, love energy you could be having, and instead you get dumped because you weren't prepared, and now you're fighting for the for your life, for your relationship to continue because your partner is so upset at you. <laughs> or what will happen are these waves come that are not the wave of blessing. They are dramas. They are negativities. They are life stresses. They are big waves that are just not that fun. <laughs> what do you do then? Okay, this is what you do. As a wave comes towards you, uh, the next wave of life, you can always feel the energy of it. And you'll can, sometimes when we can see that it's a negative wave, we'll brace ourselves, And then we'll still get sucked up and splattered by the wave upon the shore because we're just trying to brace ourselves and you can't brace yourself against the giant waves of life and the big dramas and the emotions and the terrible things that happen in life, the difficulties, the financial stresses, but you can, darling, you can dive through the wave. Now this is a very, very important art in, in the art of you being very happy and being able to handle the giant ocean of the divine feminine and masculine in balance is the, the art of surfing, basically surfing and wave diving. <laughs> Muff diving too. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what happens is, okay, the, the wave is, is this giant experience going on that's sometimes positive and sometimes negative, and we've got to know the difference. So there's an exercise that are given to women in childbirth, and this is an exercise that has to do with pain. When, you have, when giant physical pain is coming, people are very afraid. A lot of times women will brace themselves against con contraction, and they will have an excru excruciatingly difficult um, child labor, childbirth, and p mainly it's from misunderstanding. One is that the, the contractions are bad, that they can't trust the, the whole experience of the contractions to lead them into birth, and fear, and all of this makes the body close instead of open and, and retract from something that is way too big to, to ever get away from. The, the impulse of giving birth, you cannot escape. You can't. You, they can give you tons of drugs and they can give you a cesarean, but if you want to give a natural childbirth, you can't escape from these sensations. And in fact, the sensations guide you and they tell you if something's really, really wrong and you need help or if something is um, moving and it's time to really push. So in this exercise they give women, it's, it's the law of waves. They say, uh, only some, not too many people know about this, it's for orgasmic childbirth. And I used it and it worked, honey. I had an incredibly orgasmic childbirth and so did the three women who taught it to me and so did the next three women I taught it to. It is a real exercise. <laughs> so what you do when pain comes is you do not label it as bad, you label it as no label. <laughs> you feel it as a sensation. You say, ah, this is a new sensation. This is guiding me towards, towards something. This is part of the life I, I'm in. I, I, I open to it. So it, the, the pain, pain comes in waves just like pleasure. Traffic, uh, joy, <laughs> uh, money, they all come in waves. Love, romance, waves, right? So pain comes in waves too. So the rave of the pain comes and you do, not, you do not label it as bad. You simply go with a curiosity, ha, huh, let me feel this. And instead of retracting to get away from it, you dive towards it. 
you dive towards the wave of the pain. Same in relationship, you dive towards the wave of what's coming, but you get a sense of if, it, if it's a big trauma and a pain, you wanna dive through it rather than get on top of the wave and add to more drama. So a lot of people, what they do is they don't know the difference between positive, the positive wave and the negative wave, and they figure that every wave, they've either got to dodge, dive away, dive through and get out of, or ride. <laughs> and some waves are not worth riding. They simply need you to dive through them. Let the sickness pass. Let the drama pass. Let the sadness pass by going towards it. So you embrace the feelings, you embrace the reality, you look at it, you face it, but your, your intention is to go through it to the bliss, okay? Because the next couple of waves, those are where your intentions are riding for joy and pleasure and love and bliss and, and everything that you've been dreaming of in the fallow times because you used your time well. You didn't sit there going, ah, my life sucks, my relationship sucks, everything's gone, poor me. <laughs> you know, I don't like what came up on the sand from that last one. You did the opposite. You treasured everything that you just received from the last positive wave. You, you're dreaming on what comes next. You're just relaxing into the pleasure of being in this relationship, which goes up and down. Now, you want to know how, though, how Eve Give us a more of a grounded like, okay, you got the metaphor, right? Well, one of the major hows is that the element of water, okay, so we're going to talk about more, a little more symbology here. The element of water connected with the throat chakra of communication, right? Ah, <sighs> this element, because it's all about communication, and, and water, how water is, communicates everything. All of the history of everything that's happened, of story to, to water, is recorded in water as, as a communication history. It's a really cool thing about water. <laughs> so, that's so cool, <laughs> yeah. So, so your, your water journey, if you look at water, how, okay, you have a little stream coming, you have a, a, an iceberg that's frozen, the trickles, some, some kind of um, melt happens uh, through the tops of the mountains, and this little stream comes down the mountain, and then it meets waterfall energy, and it's cascading off a cliff, and it's just in a waterfall, and then it comes down to a little pool, and it's in swirling mode, and then it's through the forest, and and it comes into hello no 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 don't go away oh no uh are you still <laughs> oh 